Can you talk while on a ventilator? The short answer is, it depends. The longer answer involves understanding how mechanical ventilation works, the type of airway access being used, and the patient's overall condition. Mechanical ventilation is a life-saving intervention that supports or completely takes over the act of breathing when the body can no longer do it effectively on its own. To deliver this support, a ventilator typically connects to the patient's airway through an endotracheal tube inserted into the mouth or nose or through a tracheostomy, a surgical opening in the neck that goes directly into the windpipe. In the case of an endotracheal tube, the tube passes between the vocal cords, which are essential for producing speech. Because the tube physically obstructs the vocal cords, speaking in this condition is generally not possible. Patients are often unable to make any vocal sound at all while intubated, and communication must happen through gestures, writing, or tools like communication boards. However, the situation changes when a tracheostomy is used, especially if it's a long-term ventilation need. A tracheostomy tube is placed lower in the trachea below the vocal cords. This opens up the possibility of speech under certain conditions. If the patient is alert, breathing well enough to exhale through the upper airway, and using a specialized device called a speaking valve, they may be able to talk. This one-way valve allows air to enter through the tract during inhalation, but forces exhaled air up past the vocal cords, enabling phonation. Not all patients will qualify for this setup, though. It requires that they are stable, have adequate lung strength, and have no obstructions in their upper airway. Another factor to consider is the ventilator settings themselves. The amount of support a patient needs plays a large role in whether speaking is feasible. If a person is heavily sedated or on full ventilatory support with minimal spontaneous breathing, the chances of verbal communication are extremely low. But as patients improve and start breathing more on their own, either entirely or with minimal help, communicative options may expand. In some cases, speech therapists and respiratory therapists work together to assess and train patients to speak while still receiving some ventilator support, particularly for those with a tracheostomy. It's important to recognize the emotional and psychological toll that communication limitations can take. Patients who are awake but unable to speak may experience anxiety, frustration, and even panic. That's why alternative communication tools are so critical during mechanical ventilation. Many hospitals utilize picture boards, letter charts, or high-tech speech-generating devices to help bridge the communication gap. The medical team, family members, and caregivers all play a vital role in interpreting the patient's needs and ensuring their voice, literal or figurative, is heard. So, can you talk on a ventilator? Not usually, if you're intubated through the mouth. But in specific scenarios, such as with a tracheostomy and appropriate medical support, speech may be possible. Advances in technology and patient care continue to improve these outcomes, offering more options for communication even during critical illness. Understanding these distinctions can help reduce fear, foster empathy, and empower patients and families to ask the right questions about care, recovery, and staying connected during some of life's most vulnerable moments. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more educational content like this. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.